Hey, what's going on, guys? Zeps here bringing you another tutorial. And uh, this tutorial will be on what I do before I start working on my banner. And uh, this will be more of a shorter tutorial because there's not a whole lot you could really go over. So, first thing you want to do is duplicate the layer into your 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 template, your like YouTube one template. Um, what I like to do is I like to usually resize it first before I start like doing anything to it. So, like right here. I like it right here and the next step is if it's a darker render like this you want to go filter filter gallery and then go to stylize click stylize and then here's the settings I use 1 8 and then 5 click OK and then you want to lower the opacity down to like 14 I guess it kind of depends and then once you've done that you want to duplicate the bottom layer and then drag it behind here and then lower the opacity down to like 20%. Make it a lot larger, something like this. Give it a little bit more depth, you could say. And then let's say, for example, I wanted to make these chains darker. I'd get a black brush, make it smaller. Oops, sorry about that. I'm just going to, whoops, whoops the daisy. I'm gonna go here, I'm just gonna go over it, like so. Go create clipping mask, and then basically you duplicate it. How many ever times you might have to do overlay and then merge these together. Let me unclip this. Release clipping mask. Merge these together, and then just go create clipping mask. And then you're gonna have darker chains each time. If that's chains, but other times you just go over it, create clipping mask, and overlay lower the opacity if it needs to be overlay. And then sometimes I like to do this basically. So I duplicate the original one. I drag it over this filter blur and then go with uh, radio blur like so. And I just kind of bring it down a bunch, add a little bit. Um, something like this. And I just drag it. Uh, behind there. so I mean it kind of gives it a little bit more effect wise right here and then usually kind of make it a little bit bigger just to get some extra like blur in there but this is what I do and then I add my color correction which if you want these color correct these color corrections you can buy them on my store at www.selfie.com slash or selfie slash uh, Zeb's art and you get these color corrections for a cheap price and then for example it's too dark so i make it brighter but that's how you do it hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, i'm zebs and i'm out peace